Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Guys, today we're gonna to have so much fun, guys. So I got all these beauties from 1617, guys. And I'm gonna be making three candles, guys, because today I feel like having like a, a spring extravaganza. So I'm gonna be choosing from these beautiful oils, also from 1617. And I'm gonna pick three oils, guys, and I'm gonna make a beautiful candles for the spring, okay? So let me read to you about these beautiful vessels. Okay, so this one in here, and by the way, they, they look beautiful when you get the, uh, the gold leads. These are out of this world. So this one is the Aqua Iridescent Evermore Cylinder, okay? This one is the Lemon Iridescent Evermore Cylinder. And the last one here, this one is the, the Blush Iridescent Cylinder. Look how beautiful this is, guys. The color is so spring! And look at iridescence. I think this is such luxurious feeling and luxurious looking. And again, these are my favorite vessels, guys. You know why? Because they are so easy to wick. Most of the time, I use uh, on these a, a double CDN number three, all the paints, also um, the fragrance oils I'm using, okay? So conduct your own testing. But today I'm gonna be using this, these three three vessels to make beautiful spring extravaganza, okay? And I also wanted to show you guys beautiful passion prints. This one is a new one. This is, so the name of this one is the Silent Film Star. Uh, it's different from the shadow one because this one has white and black, the, uh, the shadow ones had only black, okay? Let me see if I have the shadow one in here. This is the difference between the, sh this is the shadow one and this one is the silent film star, okay? So you see the difference? It has the black and white, okay? Yes, like an old film, uh, but they're both beautiful, guys. But this one is brand new. You can go to the website and check it out, okay, guys? And also, I also wanna show you guys, <sighs> this is the heiress. This is one of my favorite ones. I did a candle out of this one on the video on candle of the week. And also this one here, this is the arabesque. Look perfect for spring, guys. Look at how beautiful the finish. Yes, very delicate, very bougie. And also on the passion prints, because they, uh, the color is inside the glass, you can use this as barware, you can use this for flower vessels, you can use it for anything. A lot of different uses, okay, guys? So this is a brand new one, the Silent Film Star. And the heiress, okay. So let me just put them in the back in here. Okay, so I'm gonna get everything ready, guys, and I'm gonna start doing the testing. This beautiful fragrance oils. Let me just give you a close up of the fragrance oils that we're gonna be testing today to make our spring extravaganza candles. Okay, so let me just change the angle and bring it back. Okay, guys, welcome back. So I think this angle is better. So these are the three vessels that I'm gonna be using, guys. So I just wanna read you a little bit about the Evermore cylinders, okay? For those of you that are not as familiar with them, okay, I'm reading this from the uh, information from the website. It says, this opulent lemon, we're reading to you about the, uh, the lemon one, okay? This opulent lemon candle jar will be your main squeeze. Yes, see what did? The high gloss interior paint, the high gloss interior paint dazzled with an exterior iridescent that simply shimmers. Light, lustrous, and cheerful, this vessel will brighten your day, okay guys? Beautiful, okay, Re uh, recommended feel for this is 13 ounces, although many makers prefer 14 ounces. I'm gonna be making 13 ounces on this one, okay? Okay, let's see, and also they recommend, um, every more cylinders are reusable and upcyclable. Take care not to scrape the interior paint when cleaning the vessel. Yes, uh, be careful when you try to uh, reuse this uh, vessel. Be very gentle with this, you know, I usually use like a don't dish uh, liquid, uh, with warm water and a, a silicone spatula to remove the wick, okay guys? Be very careful, okay? But this one is beautiful. Oh my God, this will be excellent flower base also, you know? So you can put flowers, you know, beautiful. And it goes so beautifully with the gold lid that it, I think you must you must get it, guys, because this really makes it, the, the candle really like a screaming luxury, okay? This, it feels really tight, okay? And because we're using the lid, that's why I'm gonna be filling this up to 13 ounces, okay? Now, let me show you the, the teal. Again, look at how beautiful finish, guys. Look at the iridescence, let me show you on, on the light. Very heavy again, I love this. This always works so well for me. Double CDN number threes, most of the time, you know, so depending on the oil, and look how bougie this looks with the beautiful gold lid, guys. Look, that gives it such a vibe of luxury, sophistication, and expensive, okay. Look at this beautiful color. It's the iridescent finish in there. Very heavy, beautiful 
inside guys again this goes great with the uh, with the gold with the gold lead look at this look at the finish of these guys these three candles with the gold leads they're gonna be a hit on your candle line so you must you must 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 if you're gonna get, get, get these pencils guys might as well just get them all with the lead okay okay and also if you don't like using metal guys you could try using the wood ones okay let me just get the wood ones for you so you can see them as an alternative if you want to use the wood ones guys so this one is the oak and this one is the maple okay so let me just put here so you can see them again this looks beautiful also it's like to me it's like putting a lid on the candle guys if it's available and if this this quality it makes it worth it okay because this is what's going to sell the candle the aesthetics this is what people look when they go to the store you know how is the candle made you know it's, it's just this is the, the final touch look at how beautiful this looks with this wooden lid the same it's this one amazing okay so i mean that's what i would do you know if i were to put, put this on my candle line for me everybody's different you know so you can choose anything that you want okay so let me just put this to the side and now I'm gonna show you the oils that I'm gonna be testing. So I'm just gonna go from left to right, you know, in no order. Okay, so I uh, have in here Grand Dome. Let me read to you the information about this fragrance oil because not everyone uh, is familiar with this. So let me just pull it up. Okay. And why did I choose this? Why not? It's just something different that I wanna share with you, okay. Grand Dome, okay, the description is Grand Dome leads with top notes of bergamot. Uh, lavender and bergamot, that's what the top notes for this. Middle notes, caterini tobacco, base notes, balsam fir, and teak wood. Okay, Grand Dome leads uh, uh, with top notes of bergamot and lavender, fused with fresh yet, yet sultry sweet caterini tobacco. Bright and woodsy, anchoring notes of balsam fir and teak wood finish this fragrance. Truly gender fluid, this alluring old world scent is one that you will not want to miss, okay? And guys, you know that I love all the scents from 1617 to me they are like unique you know it's like a its own universe i don't know how to explain it it's just like it's well let's see uh, this is very deep very intense very the tobacco notes and then i think the bergamot and the lavender you know really works so well very refreshing it's like opening a, a window you know and let the, the clean fresh air come in it's not floral at all, you know, that's why I wanted to pick this one, something different than the regular floral for spring. Uh, this one is deeper, this one has uh, kind of like a, it opens up your nostril, and uh, that's because of the bottom fur, you know, it's very uh, cleansing, energetic, happy. Okay, so let me just put it to the side. And I'm going to, have to compare with the other ones, okay? Because I'm not going to decide now. I'm going, I'm going to compare and I'm going to see what the vessels are talking to me about, okay? Let me just put them in here. Okay, I'm trying to do the newer fragrances first. Lucky Albatross is a traditionally masculine fragrance that evokes the New England Country Club vibe with a nod to the Madison Avenue era, confidence of years past. The name Lucky Albatross refers to the most elusive of golf scores achieved by only the best and luckiest golfers. Opening notes of rosewood, lemon, and tobacco blend with mid notes of neroli and nutmeg. Base notes of cedarwood and cardamom round and anchor this forceful blend. Again, wow, this is really packed with energy, guys. Very, very intense. Yes, it's very masculine. I love it. The, the spiciness of the cardamom leaves me like an aftertaste and yummy one. And yeah, it's very intense, very deep. It tells a story of love. Very, very masculine, very romantic, very seductive. Very deep. Beautiful. Okay, that's this why I picked these two uh, fragrances, guys, because they are, they are not florals, they are different, okay? The next one is Florencia, which I adore. This was one of the uh, earlier ones, fragrance oils that they released. Okay, Florencia, meaning to bloom in Spanish. Florencia also con connotes prosperity as to flourish. A modern white floral bouquet with a warm and addictive finish is rounded with base notes of tongue and vanilla with dark narcissus. I love narcissus, guys. It's amazing. Okay, fragrance family is floral. Uh, top notes is Bulgarian rose. Middle notes, white orchid. Base notes, tongue and vanilla. 
this is so sophisticated guys this is high class to the maximum luxury the blend is very sublime very it's different it's very sophisticated with a hint of love and it's kind of it's to me it's like it's very feminine but at the same time very like very strong amazing 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 okay Oof. wow that's gonna be tough to, uh, to contend with guys okay the next one is Le Jardin a truly garden of joy Le Jardin fuses delicate tea rose and exotic cherry blossom with bright green basil for a graceful verdant floral feminine and botanical this Recherche fragrance is an uncommon as it is exquisite. The fragrance family is floral and green, okay? I pick this one again uh, now because of the green, because spring, you need something green, you know? Something. Top note, tea rose, middle note, sweet grass and cherry blossom, base note, basil and black tea. Okay, this one is very impacting. This one is like uh, also very. It's, to me, it's, it's uh, earthy, but it is because of the, of the of the black tea and and the basil notes. Uh, it's this one is it reminds me of um, uh, Miss Vin, you know, in a way because it's earthy and it feels like it, it's like looking something rough from the earth. <sighs> very like, wow, what is that? You know, it's just watching something something new come to life. Again, it tells a story. Beautiful story, guys. It just, it sings by itself. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, my God. Guys, this is going to be so tough. Okay, you wish. But I love a, I love a challenge. I love a challenge. Okay, you wish. I wish. We all wish everything. You wish is a sophisticated and sultry fragrance. Exclusive to 1617. Seductive and smoldering are ultra feminine and intense you wish both notes of Arabian Jasmine, Galbanum, Love the Noon, and Vanilla. This dark, humid floral is provocative, exotic, and unique. Family fragrance, Oriental floral. Top note, Arabian Jasmine. Middle note, Galbanum. Base note, Love the Noon, and Vanilla. Okay, this, this is really like... <sighs> this is above the rest of the, of the floral. This is more sophisticated, more floral to me, more uh, elevated. This to me is very formal. This to me belongs on a wedding, on something formal, something like, I don't know, it's, it's a very big occasion on your life, on a woman's life. Very sexy, very also intimate. <sighs> Amazing. It's really, truly beautiful. Okay, guys, it's going to be very tough for me to pick. Okay, let me change the angle and I'll be right back. Okay guys, we are back. So I put the, all the fragrance oils in the front and I'm having here my vessels. Okay, so we're gonna pick the fragrance that we're gonna be using for the Spring Extravaganza 2023. Yeah! Is this telling me that I wanna be on, on any of these vessels? Let me just put them right in front of me. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and pair this with Florencia and let's see how I feel about it. No, 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 no. I'm gonna pair this with Le Jardin and let's see how I feel about it. Again, this is Grand Dome and Le Jardin. Let's see how these blend together. This is epic. Okay, this is really, truly, truly a beautiful blend, guys. They sing together so well. It's like they're all in a happy garden, you know? embracing each other wow okay i think this is a possibility but let me try to blend grand dam grand dome with as you wish i'm just trying i'm just playing with this guys just that this is how you discover great fragrance combinations by you playing with different ones and just see what happens how do you feel about it are these are any of these vessels talking to me right now it's beyond beautiful. This is beyond beautiful. This is epic, guys. I'm getting the shield. You're smelling this beauty. <sighs> okay, this is talking to me. And this is going to be candle number one, guys. And this is going to be on the teal. Because they're telling me that they're going to be in this vessel. Okay, guys? I don't know how to explain it to you. But it's just so... so the energy, it's so immense. 
it's so immense, the two of these together, guys. Grand Dome and You Wish together. It's gonna be candle number one. It's gonna be in this beautiful teal vessel. Oh my God. I don't know how to explain it to you. It just, it came from the universe. I don't know how to explain it to you. Wow. Okay, so these two, I'm gonna put together like this. Wow. What a beautiful combination, guys. What a beautiful combination. Okay, Lucky Albatross, Rosewood, Nemon, Top Note, Neroli, Nutmeg, Mid Note, Cerebut, and Cardamom. Okay, I'm gonna try how this melts with a Florencia. Florencia wants to be by herself. You know that, don't you? She's not playing around. Okay, this is Ledger Dan and Lucky Albatross. Okay, Florencia spoke to me. Florencia wants to be in here. Bulgarian Rose, White Orchid, and Tonga Manila. This is gonna be candle number two on the lemon. And let's see what's gonna go on the blush. Okay, and let's see Lucky Albatross. Okay, Lucky Albatross and Le Jardin. Okay, this is kind of different. This is something new. I kind of like it. Uh, the top note is very interesting because it's a mix of a floral and, and the citrus with the lemons and the rosewood. I think it goes, I think it's very interesting. I think it's worth a try. Uh, it's, it's giving me uh, the blush vibe with the uh, cedarwood and cardamom, guys. I'm gonna try this one, okay? I'm gonna try this one, this two, for the blush, okay, guys? So we're using all of them. You see, I'm so surprised. Something told me to go and try this, and try these, uh, all these fragrance oils, okay, guys? So we're gonna be using all these beautiful fragrance oils on this beautiful spring extravaganza 2023, guys. So I'm gonna get all set up and I'll bring her back. Yes, yes! So for these vessels, I'm gonna be using 13 ounce fill. Uh, so for that, I did numbers, so I'm gonna be needing 11.7 ounces of wax, and I'm using number seven, and 1.3 ounces of fragrance oil. So when you add 1.7 and 1.3, it's a total of 13, okay? Perfection! So I did already uh, 1.3 ounces of Florencia. That's gonna be on my lemon candle. Now, because I'm using two different fragrance oils for, for the rest, I'm gonna take 1.3 ounces, that is what I need, and, and I'm gonna divide it by two, that's gonna give me 0 0.65, okay, each. So I'm gonna tear this, so the next one's gonna be, so I need 0 0.65 for Lucky Albatross. Oh my God, perfection. And the same with Layer Dan. So I'm gonna tear. Okay, so this is gonna be Layer Dan and Lucky Albatross. It's gonna be for the blush, so it's gonna be for this one here. Let me put this to the side. And then for the teal, I'm gonna be needing Grand Dome and You Wish. Again, 0.65. Uh, recyclable plastic bottles is made. So what I'm doing with this, guys, is because I have three candles, so I'm gonna be measuring the wax three times, okay? So, I put, so I'm gonna put this in here, and I'm gonna need 11.7 ounces of wax. That I'm gonna now that I'm gonna to be touching the candles, I'm gonna be wearing gloves, okay? So that's why I wanna clean this first. Let me just put this away. Okay, so I'm wearing my gloves now because I'm gonna to be touching the vessel. So I'm gonna be using double CDN number three. These are available at 1617, so two each. And like I told you before, I'm gonna be using number seven wax. That to me is my favorite wax ever. I always get amazing results. I always get the best HT and CT. Okay, so first I'm gonna put alcohol to make sure there's no residue of any kind of a dust. I have to say guys, when 1617 ships products to your house to your, or to your business, they don't fool around guys. They really know how to pack the stuff, okay? We can then, so I'm gonna be using, this is the wick kit from, for the Evermore from 1617. So I put it right at the, at the bottom. And I'm gonna be using a silicone straw. So let's start wicking. So first I put the first, I'm gonna do one candle, guys, to show you, and then the rest I'm gonna do off camera because I mean, all you need to see is just one, okay? So I love the stickers also from 1617. These are very strong. You know, they're very easy to handle. And the secret is you have to make sure that you really like press really hard to make sure that you have full contact, okay? 
So you see the hole in there, so I'm gonna follow the... Look at how beautiful that is, perfection. So, okay, so let me just show you the final, how beautiful and safe that, that is. So guys, I'm gonna do the rest of camera and I'll bring her back, okay? Yes! <laughs> to perfection, yes! Okay, so now I'm gonna put the first candle, the microwave, for six minutes. So the first one I'm gonna be making is Florencia, the beautiful lemon, iridescent, ever more cylinder with Florencia, aqua, and this one has You Wish and Grand Dom, and this one is a blush, iridescent, and this one has Lucky Albatross and Le Jardin. Okay, there's gonna be masterpieces, guys, and again, I must have. It's gonna be the golden tops, okay? The golden leaves. I'm gonna link everything below on the description box. Okay, and guys, I got a new Presto pot. Let me show you the box. So this is a box. Let me just pull you guys back a little bit. So I got this Presto box and I feel like doing... Let's do a quick unboxing, guys, so I can show you. Oh, this is much better quality than the other one that I have. This is perfection, guys, because what I do is I, I just put the, the heat element on the side Perfection! Okay, let's continue with the candle. So what I'm, what I'm gonna be doing, guys, is I'm gonna be making the candles, mixing the oils in here. So every time that I finish one candle, I'm just gonna take alcohol and paper towels. So guys, I'm only gonna make one candle in front of the camera. I'll do the rest of camera, so I will come back after I finish all three candles, okay? So let's do that. Let's do this one together. So let's see how warm this is now. Okay, this is 230. I'm gonna put it in this pitcher in here because I don't want to contaminate this. I'm gonna use this for, okay, so let's see. And I'm gonna put the oil right away. And I'm gonna mix for 20 seconds. 200, you see? It needs to be very hot. Because I transferred from the glass pitcher to this one, and this one was kind of cool, kind of cold at the, uh, the surface. It needs, to be, it needs to be done this way. So this one is Florencia. So I'm gonna do this candle, guys, and then I'm gonna pour it. I'm gonna wait until it goes to 180. On 185, in the meantime, I'm gonna put the, the next candle, the wax ready. So let me just put it back on the microwave for seven minutes, six minutes. Okay guys, so you know the drill. I'm gonna wait for this to go between 180, 185. Uh, I'll come back once I finish all three candles, okay? Yeah! Okay guys, welcome back. Look at the beautiful candles. Spring Extravaganza 2023, yes! So guys, here are the three beautiful candles, guys. These are the Evermore. Uh, cylinders from 1617 guys the first one in here is it okay the first one here is the aqua iridescent evermore cylinder the second one is the lemon iridescent evermore cylinder and the third one is the blush iridescent evermore cylinder yes all of them are 1617 guys and like i told you they are going to go beautiful with the gold leads so it's a must-have i think it's uh, it's going to give that ambience that um that touch of um, Genesis Sequad, that touch of uh, finesse, that touch of uh, uh, luxury that we all want in our candles. Okay, guys, and in here are the beautiful fragrance oils that I use to make these beautiful candles. So on candle number one, You Wish and Grand Dom. On the lemon, I'm using Florencia, and on the blush, I'm using Lucky Albatross and Le Jardin, okay? Yes, equal parts, guys. This combination, guys, I want you to try them because you're gonna love them, okay? A beautiful CT, it's emanating from the, from the beautiful wax. Like I told you guys, every time that I use 1617 products, guys, to me, the candles are top notch, okay? So, you may wanna check them out, okay? So, okay guys, so I'm gonna finish the video here, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, guys. And uh, give a like to the video so it, it does great on the uh, YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to check out my website, candleromance.shop, so you can check out my candles. Okay, guys, so thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to watch me every Sunday on my live streams at 12 noon. Pacific Standard Time on my channel, okay guys? Until the next one, be well, I love you. Yeah! Yes! <laughs>